Hi guys, this boy Bing came back for another video. Today I'll walk you through how to solve the law of SQL injection and uni attack finding a column contains the text. This is this love continue any SQL injection property in the product category filter. The results from the query are retained in the application response so you can use the union attack to retrieve data from other tables. To construct such an attack, you first need to determine the number of the column retained by the query. You can do that using the technique you learned in the previous lab. The next step is to identify the column that is compatible with the data. This lab will provide you a random value that you need to make appear with the query result to solve the lab to perform an screen and un unit attack that retain addition row contains the value preferred with this technique help you determine the what you have in in this uh, verbose machine and determine what column is is string and you need to display the the solution uh, the first thing let's go to open the access to your lab and you see we have here the lab and you need to see if this variable for SQL injection let's see you see the category filter hit hit in the last in your eye hit the column single column and hit ok you see internal server error that means that web application is vulnerable for SQL injection. The next thing, thing is determine the the number of the column is by using order by order by let's see one and hit enter you see that which mean we have one column let's see the second column you see and uh, let's see the third one and uh, let's see the fourth one oh uh, internal service that means that we have three columns the next thing is you know what we use a new intact to see what column is contains a string value and uh, we use the unknown attack we will use single quote and unknown select let's see no no sorry no and no and commit the rest of the query and let's test the, the column one and hit A and select your query and go to application and replace that and hit OK. You see we have internal server error that means that the first code is not contain string. Let's reback and let's test the number number two and hit A and go back to your application and replace the previous query to new one and hit OK and we have internal server error and let's back we have something you know, here is wrong or something like that oh we have problem here Make sure that you um, go back and replace again and hit OK. You see, we have variable that means the, the, the column number two is variable for its string value. Uh, to solve the lot, you make that let's retrieve the string that and Go to your query and replace A with your code and select it and go back to your application and select that and hit OK. You see, we solved the lab. And this video for today, I hope you hope it for you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to see new stuff and see you next time, guys. Bye bye.